Councilman Glover, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. I uh, just want to remind everyone that we have the area cleanup. I know the mayor is doing it around the city this uh, Saturday, but specifically in Hermitage, uh, we certainly would like for you to join us there. It uh, will be starting at 8.30 until 12.30, I believe it is. We'll probably have donuts there at about 8 o'clock. Uh, but if you can, make sure you come out. We'll be meeting at the uh, Hermitage Precinct area, the police precinct. Um, and so we will look forward to having you out there at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Glover. Councilman Elrod, you're recognized. Thank you, Councilman. Excuse me. Madam Speaker Pro Tem Johnson, um, just a few announcements on, uh, let's see, on Friday, uh, there's an Earth Day showcase for Croft Middle School at the zoo from uh, 930 to 1230. And then uh, on Sunday, um, Shiraz Taylor, who lives in District uh, 16 in uh, Council Member uh, Freeman's district, but he's been having every Friday afternoon a tour of Kurdistan establishments along Nolensville Road. He's having his last one uh, on Sunday at uh, 1 o'clock. And then, um, excuse me, uh, then on Tuesday, uh, April 26th, Paragon Mills EL After School Reading Club will be having a celebration at uh, Paragon Mills Elementary from 4.15 to 5 o'clock. Um, also, there is a uh, the Metro Council will be having a transit roundtable that also that evening at 4:30 downstairs in the jury assembly room as the council starts to talk about uh, transit uh, going forward in our city. And then let's see, there seems like there was something else. I believe that's it. Thank you, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker Pro Tem. Excuse me. Thank you, Councilman Elrod. Councilman Hastings, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. Uh, I would like to first of all thank um, the community of District 2 and the area of Trinity Hills and of the West Trinity uh, Lane Quarter that actually came out on yesterday and played a part into the development of 22 acres of the area aerial development that will happen there which is a uh, mixed-use complex there will be homes condominiums and also commercial properties uh, we had an interesting conversation yesterday and of course we will have others and uh, we'll play a major part into that as well uh, also on um, I believe and I'm trying to get the uh, the date corrected here but I think on May 23rd uh, as far as what I have here uh, there will again be a music on the lane West Trinity Lane and it's the first it will be basically a music of, of blues and jazz music uh, we are looking for a awesome awesome time directly across from Jack's Barbecue uh, where the uh, old I think uh, Bonanza uh, restaurant used to to be and also there's a big uh, uh, spot there <clears throat> grassy area to where everyone will be able to come out we'll have food games arts all of that stuff and we're looking forward to all of the city coming and join us in our community as we celebrate district 2 and we celebrate Nashville all together with our music thank you thank you councilman Hayson what is that date again for that event Actually, right now we're looking uh, from what I just received. I think it's on May May twenty third, but uh, we will. Uh, I will make sure that we forward so we'll have the the correct time. All right, and it starts at uh, nine a.m. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Councilman Hastings. Councilman Syracuse, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tem. I just wanted to remind folks about a few things going on in the district uh, starting this weekend. On Saturday at 5 o'clock, the Tennessee Songwriters Association at 2416 Music Valley Drive is having their annual sidewalk party, live music, of course. Food, art, vendors, and the neighboring merchants from the Music Valley Merchants Association will be there, so that'll be a great time. Please come on out for that. On Sunday the 24th at 2 p.m., McGavick Elementary is celebrating their 60th anniversary and I have the honor of presenting a proclamation for that so they're hosting a community party for everybody so come on out to McGavick Elementary for their 60th anniversary at 2 p.m. Uh, finally I am having a community meeting about sidewalks coming to Donaldson uh, next Tuesday the 26th at uh, 6 30 p.m. at Donaldson Church of Christ so come on out and uh, learn about the sidewalk projects coming to Donaldson thank you 
Thank you, Councilman Syracuse. We all get excited about sidewalks. <laughs> Councilwoman Van Rees, you're recognized. Thank you very much and good evening. Um, I have a handful of things. First of all, we wanted to remind everybody that District 8 is looking great for the beautification work on the 23rd. Um, to get information about uh, ways that you can participate in Beautification Day, um, please visit my website, nvrfordistrict8.com slash beautification, and I'll give you some information there because we have a number of different neighborhoods participating. That's the best place to send you. Um, also wanted to mention on April the 26th, 6th at 6 p.m. the MTA in motion uh, event will be taking place at the 50 forward at Madison Station at 6 p.m. Uh, please come out to participate again that is April the 26th at 6 p.m. at the Madison Station 50 forward. Um, the following day on the 27th of April um, it will be um, the coffee with NVR which begins at 8 a.m. at SIP Cafe. Uh, we're going to continue Continue the coffee with NVR um, through the month of April, but beginning in May, we're going to switch things up a bit because on uh, May the 1st, we are uh, pleased to launch Farmers Market Week in Davidson County with the Amqui Station Farmers Market. Um, it will be um, a number of different farmers markets from across Davidson County will be opening that first week in May, and because we begin on Sundays, we get to launch the whole week. So beginning Sunday, May the 1st, noon to 3, please come to the Amqui Station Farmer's Market. It is a program of Discover Madison, and we're very excited to launch our third year. Because of that, because I'm the Farmer's Market uh, Manager, I will be there every Sunday afternoon. So we're going to be switching our open office hours, so please join me at the market beginning in May. Um, I also wanted to announce I got some information today that the paving uh, previously uh, reported as being scheduled on Matthews Avenue is actually um, some patchwork that's going to be done and because of the money being saved there we are going to be able to uh, pave Horseshoe uh, instead and so the folks on Horseshoe will be very happy to hear that um, and I appreciate uh, the time and please come to the Anquist Station Farmers Market starting May the 1st. Thank you Councilwoman Van Rees. Councilwoman Varcher, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. I uh, have a few community announcements as well. want to let the community know in all of Southeast, uh, we would like for them to join us Saturday, April 23rd. Um, join us along with all the elected officials um, out in Southeast and Mayor Barry for the citywide spring clean. Um, the location is behind the Firestone at 2421 Murfreesboro Road. That's this coming Saturday, April 23rd from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Also, I'd like to let the community know about an upcoming community meeting, um, April 30th at J.E. Moss. Um, that address is 4701 Bowfield Drive, and it will be from 1030 to 1130. We will have a light breakfast catered uh, for, the, for the district as well, so please come out. Um, Public Works will be there uh, to give us an update about our sidewalks. And um, we also, also want to let the community know if they haven't, uh, please go out on Nashville gov and subscribe to the District 28 newsletter. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. Thank you, Councilwoman Vercher. For District 29, um, I would like to remind everyone that we do have a community meeting this Thursday, April 21st, at Hamilton United Methodist Church at 3105 Hamilton Church Road. This meeting is to learn from the new owner of the former Custom Craft Cabinets office building at the corner of Bell Road, and he is proposing to put, to put a hookah bar. And so I need to get feedback from everyone in the community. Is this a use change, a zone change that you would support? The meeting is at 6.30 p.m. this Thursday, April 21st, at Hamilton United Methodist Church at 3105 Hamilton Church Road. Also, as another reminder for District 29, uh, in addition to the cleanup that is going to happen this upcoming Saturday, the following Saturday, April 30th, uh, will be our District 29 cleanup where we will have shredded, uh, Goodwill, 
and our dumpsters and crusher trucks from Public Works. Um, that is, again, as we do each spring and fall at the Compton's Foodland parking lot off of Smith Springs Road. And anyone interested in volunteering for either uh, community cleanup, come to the meeting tomorrow night at H&T's Home Cooking at 6.30 p.m. Councilwoman Henderson, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. Um, I wanted to share as well some citywide cleanup day events. Um, in District 34, the Belmead Highlands Neighborhood Association um, is organizing a cleanup. So if you are a member of that association, please look online at their uh, Facebook group as those final plans come together. Um, as well, uh, my colleagues in Bellevue, I see, are still in committee. So I want to share about the Bellevue cleanup day. Um, that is this Saturday, April 23rd, along with citywide cleanup day. Um, and that is um, from 8 a.m. till 12 noon at Gower Elementary. Um, there will as well be a, a, a shred, shredding truck, um, a large uh, disposal bin for uh, large uh, household waste, um, and as well other groups uh, organizing to clean in various areas. So uh, for, for those colleagues um, who are, are not here and can't announce, I think there is a cleanup in pretty much uh, almost every district um, as part of the mayor's uh, uh, citywide cleanup effort to stop litter. Um, they're partnering with Public Works and uh, district council members and neighborhood associations. So if anyone wants to get involved in that effort this Saturday, April 23rd, they can go to stoplitter.nashville.gov to find a cleanup near them and join the effort. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Henderson. And that uh, website again is stop. Yes, ma'am. Stop litter, all one word, dot Nashville, dot gov. And okay. I think if you also just go to the Nashville.gov homepage, you'll find a link there. Thank you for sharing that. Councilman Hastings, you're recognized. Yes, Madam Pro Tim, I was just rising again to the last thing that I, I stated. There is a date correction on the music on the lane. It will be May 21st on that Saturday, May 21st. And we invite all council members and community from all over Nashville to come and uh, enjoy the music, the arts, and uh, food from here in Nashville. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Hastings. That's exciting because I know that's one of the first uh, type of events of that sort in North Nashville. So thank you for sharing. You're Councilman Weathers, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tem. I have two community meetings to announce. The first one is this upcoming Thursday, April the 21st at 6.30 p.m. That's for our Rosebank neighbors, which includes uh, parts of District 6 as well as District 7. Uh, and that will take place again on Thursday the 21st at 6.30 p.m. at Memorial Lutheran Church at 1211 Riverside Drive at the corner of Riverside and Carter. Then this coming a week from tonight, on Tuesday the 26th at 6 p.m., will be the historic Edgefield neighborhood meeting. This time, uh, the neighborhood a group will be meeting at the, the new turnip truck location at uh, 701 Woodland Street, upstairs in the uh, lounge area. And we hope neighbors will come out and support the neighborhood group, but also support a, a local business. So thank you so much for allowing me to make those two announcements. I look forward to seeing neighbors soon. Thank you, Councilman Withers. Councilman Sledge, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tem. Uh, there's a few items that are occurring in District 17, the first of which is tomorrow, Wednesday at 6 p.m., is the Music Row Neighborhood Association meeting that'll be at the Midtown Hills Precinct on 12th. And then this Saturday, as part of what Council Lady Henderson was mentioning about cleanups around the county, um, Councilman O'Connell and I are hosting a uh, cleanup uh, beginning at 8.30 at the Napier and Sudicum Homes. Um, it'll begin over on Claiborne Street at the Napier Leasing Office. We will also be cleaning in Chestnut Hill. And then at 2 p.m., uh, the 12 South Home Tour begins. Um, it's always an exciting event every year and then the following Monday the 25th the Sunnyside Neighborhood Association will meet at 6 p.m. at the Severe Park Community Center and they will have MTA as their guest to discuss the in motion process thank you thank you Councilman Sledge 
Councilwoman Allen, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tem. Just want to announce that also in uh, coordination with the Mayor's Cleanup Day, uh, the Hillsborough West End neighborhood and the Belmont Hillsborough neighborhood will be sponsoring an electronic waste cleanup this Saturday, April 23rd from 9 to 12 or thereabouts um, at West End Middle School on the Bowling Avenue side. So bring your computers and your cell phones and whatever else you need to get rid of and you can dispose of it safely there. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Allen. Councilwoman Haywood, you're recognized. Thank you, uh, Lady Pro Tem. I would like to announce uh, that Stratford STEM Magnet, their graduation is May 14th, and their principal, Dr. Steele, has asked me to invite everyone. It will be at David Lipscomb University at 2 o'clock, again on the 14th, and I will be their commencement speaker. Also, Donaldson Christian would like to invite you all out. Their graduation is May 21st, and it's uh, at 10 o'clock. Both graduations are on Saturday, and I will also be the commencement speaker for Donaldson Christian Academy, and they would like for anyone that's interested to come out. Thank you, Lady Pro Tem. Thank you, Councilwoman Haywood, and I know that you will make us proud as the commencement speaker. What an honor. <laughs> Are there any other council members wishing to speak at this time? Seeing no one else wishing to speak, I declare the announcement period closed. We will reconvene promptly at 6.30 p.m. for our regularly scheduled council meeting. Thank you. <laughs>